thank you for tuning in back again to the United with Gear channel. Today we have a uh, we have a special little treatment we're gonna do to this one. This is my Para 3 and M390. I don't know how good you guys can pick that up on camera. Um, this is a very special knife to me. This was uh, I bought this off of EDC dot six twenty one. Um, I'll go ahead and leave his Instagram on the screen. My first uh, knife with N three ninety steel. So it's kind of basic. It has regular uh, skinny scales on it. G ten with blue screws, black uh, Lynch titanium pocket clip and then it has a black backspacer um, I've been wanting to add some scales to it you know add some flavor to it make it more alive not so basic um, and I've also had some trouble I know this is probably I could have fixed this with Loctite but um, these screws every time I tighten them down they always come loose I don't know if you guys can see but it has some sort of play in it like I said, I know I probably could have fixed it with uh, with some little bit of Loctite, some blue Loctite. Um, but I just felt like it was time for some change for this knife. So I um, picked up some, some scales. Okay, then. Like that. Pretty cool. Got some stickers, some scales. I'll go over the specifics on these scales right now. I also got some bronze hardware. Alrighty, well, let's go straight into it. So these scales are the micarta. Oh, this feels so nice. Look at this. Titanium is known for their precise milling um, on their titanium scales, brass, copper. They just, they're just meant to fit OEM perfectly, man. Um, a lot of aftermarket scales that you buy, you have to kind of finagle them in and don't really fit right. And just their milling is just pretty cool. I'm sure you guys know Flytanium. I'll go ahead and leave their Instagram on here in case you guys want to check them out. Got a free sticker. Cool. These scales are the uh, the Lotus Micarta scales for the Para 3. These right here. If you want to check them out, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Pretty cool. These are the uh, the bronze titanium screw set from from Flytanium as well. This is the last time I'll be seeing this knife with some pretty simple scales and blue screws. Alrighty, let's bring this to life. Take 
Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Uh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past all the pain and you'll find a door. Open it up and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Show you guys if you guys want to cop some patches from RE's from my man dirty.d.edc. I created this one and this design. Go ahead and check them out. This is a tribute to uh, Mac Miller. It's his most dope. Pretty cool RE's. I'll leave his Instagram on here if you guys want to go check them out. Alrighty, you guys. Well, we finished the pair of three. Got the uh, my Carter scales. It looks amazing. I love this color combo right here. That green with the stripes on it and the micarta and the bronze gold. Action is so smooth. Buttery smooth. This is the same uh, pocket clip I had originally. The only thing same on this specific setup is the pocket clip the backspacer and the pivot in the middle of the blade i will say these these scales pick up oils fairly quick um i was i i, I was lubing it up that's what she said i was lubing up the uh the washers on here and just from the oils from my hand and stuff like this it started it's darkening up a little bit um pretty cool I like the uh, the black on the micarta. It kind of like contrasts really well. I've hardly, I think I've sharpened this knife maybe two two times maybe. Um, ever since I got it, I've had it for maybe maybe getting close to the year. I love the handles. I'm gonna be carrying this for a couple of weeks. See how these handles do. It feels so comfortable. Yeah, if you guys want to check them out on Instagram. Now, the lubrication I use for this setup uh, for all my knives is KPL, Knife Pivot Lube. Um, I'll go ahead and leave their Instagram on here as well. They're an amazing company, man. They, they, they provide different types of viscosities for um, oils, for lubrication. They have knife maintenance kits. They have stuff for like anti-corrosion, um, just amazing stuff keeps all of our nice lube. I like the uh, the needle tip. I don't know if you guys saw in the when I was lubing it up, but uh, it helps you get into these little crevices in, the, in between the blade and the handle. Keeps things going nice, nice and lubricated. But yeah. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by and seeing the. Uh, the new life of this Para 3 and M390. I'll be doing my card on this and then on, on the on the PM2. I'll probably do some, some brass or copper. Um, leaning towards more brass. Um, but you guys can let me know in the comments if what you guys want to see on the on the PM2. Pretty cool. Alrighty you guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.